Kill it! Kill it! I gotta say, I love the ambience going on here. Anywho, hey, hey, what is going on? Dave here with some more Spiral of the Dragon, Ripto's Rage, second game in the series. As always, if you haven't yet, do subscribe. We got daily gaming stuff coming out on the reg and smack the bell so that you never miss a thing. We are currently collecting all the gems right now in Summer Forest, just leaving no... No stone unturned, let's kill some frogs while we're at it, because we're lovely little eco-terrorists. That's how you gotta be in this game, you know, you just gotta kill the wildlife, you know, turn them into butterflies, say hi to the cheetah. Smash this bridge, I guess you have to glide across it. Press X to jump, press X again while you're still in the air. Yeah, I know how to glide. Cool, 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 oh, sorry, didn't mean to, didn't mean to smack you in those, those, those parts there, cheetah. Let's... oh, let's fall to our weird demise there. Turn the sheep into a butterfly, because that's how evolution works. Oh, whoops. Ah, we know about her. I mean him. We know about him. I say to her. <laughs> let's collect some stuff. There's Colossus with awesome music. Oh, a lot of the music's amazing in this game. It's a cool thing. Stuart Copeland actually uh, composed for all three of the... Spire of the Dragon games, and I believe he even composed for Enter the Dragonfly 2. So he's, his style has, you can see how it evolves through the Spyro games. This level, for example, has a lovely little atmospheric soundtrack. It's just like, oh, it sounds like angels singing. It's great. I love it. Even Glimmer, like, had this awesome music soundtrack that conveyed this sense of, wow, welcome to this crazy new world that Spyro has never seen before. And then, you know, we got all sorts of cool, cool stuff soundtrack-wise in each of these levels, by the way. So, let's hop up here. Hey, Cheetah, you're fast. Hi, Spyro. You look Hello again. Pretty agile. Oh, I'm agile as heck. Let's do it. Yay, I learned how to jump. Okay. Cool, now let's glide, even though you told me how to glide already. Sorry, guys. As much as I love the voice acting in this game, it just takes so long. Yeah, yeah, now we're gonna hover. So all you gotta do is do this, hit the triangle button. I don't even think I needed to hover there for a sec. Alright, whatever. Whatever, whatever, man. Oh, there it is! Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll cool. have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start. A walking start. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Jump, glide, and hover. Okay, and oh yeah, he... Well, where'd he go? Okay. So, what, what is it I was trying to do? There it is! That's how you get the bump. So you gotta... You gotta keep holding, yeah, you gotta keep holding X. Yeah, oh god, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this, guys. There. <laughs> it exploits, it exploits the game so much. I can't believe I just remembered how to do it, too. Alright, I take you on for real. Oh, <laughs> for real. For real? Anyway, let's take this orb. I guess he doesn't have his running shoes, because he, he just made that comment. Okay, I wonder if I can actually make this here. Oh! Oh, it's pretty close. I probably could. At the very edge of that thing, I probably dang well could. Anyway, uh, we need to learn how to dive underwater to get that orb, which we can do conveniently with money bags. Oh, sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Well, aren't you forward? Let's do- wait, what? Do I not have enough? I don't have enough. Wait, I, I need 45 gems, are you cereal? That's lame. That is really lame. Ah, oh, so lame. Okay, uh, there's a lot of water in this level here, Idle Springs. So we're not gonna go in there. However, we're gonna go into Colossus, because it has no water. Jeez. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have spent the 100 gems. Oh well, whatever. If I remembered how to do the crazy jump, now that I have it down... Oh, we're gonna use it. We're gonna take that jump to town. <laughs> now that I have it down, we'll take it to town. Ha <laughs> ha! Colossus. Ooh, oh, 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 this music. Oh yeah, and these guys are psycho. They can make things levitate. And they're gonna feed the goat to the yet. This is dark. Oh darn. Yeah, you know, it's funny, they have these comic scenes that happen at the beginning and end of each level, but they're kind of dark! <laughs> like, that guy just totally got eaten by the Yeti. Alright. A Yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the others, they will open the gates and guide you to him. 
How is he on a rampage? He's chilling in our room, waiting for goats. Okay, kill that guy. Oh, ouch. Cool thing they do is actually, they give enemies a sense of gravity. So some enemies you can actually just charge through, like those blue lizards from Glimmer. And other enemies, like these goats, they'll actually like hit you with a little bit of a stop, as if you ran into a wall when you charge them, even though they'll die anyway. Which I think is cool, it gives them some gravity to them. They did that in the first game too. I should be able to open this door for you. What accent do they have? Anyway, Brother Arnie here is gonna... Yeah, 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 you do that. I won't question. Hey, bud. Ah! Bro, take me to dinner first. Try before you try to roll me out like that. Let's do this. Cool. And I like how there's a little subplot in each of the levels, too. Ah! Like the Yeti thing. Conveniently, everyone's got an issue, so it's gonna be really easy to ask for their talismans. But, I won't question it. Oh, are there, are there gems up here? Are there gems? Are there gems? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, cool. Yeah, sorry, I guess my game is just so old. You'll notice some of the clipping. I'm sure you already have noticed some of the clipping with the voice acting. That's just my game. Yeah, I know, I just explained this. Well, actually, I didn't really explain it, but I, I demonstrated it. All right. Are you trying to bash me, goat? I just fell down a cliff. Okay, where's that goat? Where's that goat? Oh, there he is. Ow! Sir! I'm getting hit a lot in this level. Uh, I don't plan on dying till way later in this game. But uh, you guys know me. I like to play the games pretty carelessly. Let's just go through. Collect all of our treasure. Basaloobla. I love this game. Oh, it's so great. Ah, oh, God, this game drives me nuts. It's one of those favorites of mine. Again, once upon a time, I think the Spyro Trilogy was definitely a favorite. The Trilogy definitely is in my top five. Hey, look what I can do! <laughs> why, I, I, uh, why, I, I, uh. <laughs> and he can bring that up and down, so we can get up here. And little vases. Make that fun little sound. Okay, what do you got, Zoe? Remember Hunter's advice. You will glide farthest if you press the X button at the very top of your jump. New voice already? Jeez. And also, what if I didn't say hi to Hunter? Wha wow. I would have laughed if I actually made that. That would have been ridiculous. Bro. Bring it down. Bro. Bro. Bring it up. Bro. Bring it up. Bro. There. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> what? What is happening in this game? <laughs> what is this game? Yeah, it's like a- it's almost like a gravity jump. Oh, gosh. Yeah. There it is, yeah. It's- it's like a funky little gravity jump that you can do. Gets you a lot of height, though. Alright, hey, buddy. <laughs> I really got his goat on that one. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, it's gonna happen. Oh, it's gonna happen. The puns will come out. But I'm just a gem that way. Let's do... Oh, there's the talisman if I need it. Well, I mean, I will need it, but I don't want to do it now. I want to do it later. Alright, can I... There we go. I can do this. Hey, bud. <laughs> I like how these yaks just don't walk. They just bounce. Hey, oh gosh. Hit him right in the kidney there. In his, his goat kidney. Uh, ooh, can I get up here? I would like to get up here. I would like that very much. Okay, fine. I didn't want to get up there anyway. It's, I don't even need it. I killed enough people to do this. Yeah, that, that's a thing in this game. <laughs> okay. And that rocket's gonna... Oh, wait, did I miss a gem? I think I missed a gem. I missed a gem. Ooh. Where does this take me? I feel like this isn't... I feel like this isn't gonna lead me anywhere. Like, there's nothing here, right? Why did they make this accessible and not put anything here? I'm really curious. I'm really curious about that design choice. Anyway, I will try not to forget about that blue gem. Where is it? Where is a sapphire? There's a sapphire. I'm gonna collect that sapphire. And there's another sapphire and an emerald. Each time you Shut up, fairy! Let's do this. 
<laughs> oh, dude, should I just play this game like Spyro's drunk and just like, hey, don't tell me what to do, I do whatever I want. Oh my god, that would be hilarious. And we got some more sapphires here. Oh, lovely. I love the sapphires. The sapphires make me feel good. Now, what's next? Where else can we go? Go to spring. Let's do the spring. We'll go to the top of the temple on the spring because that's how the spring works. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I just personified the gem like it's one of my old friends. That's weird because I collect the gems and I do all sorts of stuff. Oh, God. We're not going to do that yet because that's a side mission. But... Oh, I gotta end the episode off. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Oh, actually, yeah, we can uh, activate this in the next episode. So, Professor's got, he's got some personal demons to handle. But, we're gonna do that next time. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Do like this video if you like this video. And, I'll see you in the next one. This is Dave out. Peace out.